What's going on guys? It's Shay and we're back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Roblox, checking out the winter update for upstate New York. That is right, winter has arrived um, and we're going to be checking out some of the stuff that me alongside my team have added. Um, fair warning, I am a little sick. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads. I've just been working on the update. Along with, you know, I've been I've been hearing the GTA 6 hype. I don't know if you guys are into that, but when I saw that trailer yesterday, I just freaked out and I had to get all the information I could on that. But we are here today. A winter update dropped December the 5th. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and announce some of the things that I've added. Um, so obviously you've got winter decorations. Um, you can see them here, you can see them on the buses, however the only change is this year to have decoration on your bus, um, you will need to own the VIP Game Pass. Um, that is the only change with that. Um, snowfall has arrived, if you knew. Uh, last year we didn't have it because uh, somebody had deleted it and I didn't really want to make a whole new one, but it is here. You can kind of see it falling. And it does fall at like different speeds and stuff you can see it's kind of falling lightly if you go to a different place it might fall a little harder at some places but yes uh we added a new leaderboard we'll go over here and walk to it um me and um my one and only scripter here worked on this um he did all the scripting i did some of the i kind of gave him the uh the layout of the thing but he did majority of the scripting um, basically what this is, is it tracks your all-time miles, um, so if you press tab, you'll see your miles here, alongside your rank. Uh, basically, if you drive, like, a few thousand studs in-game, um, you'll gain a mile. Um, and, as you can see, some people here have been gaining quite a few miles. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that, um, f we know we have two games, one is Community and the other is BD. Right now, they're separate and they don't... You know, they don't, you know, if you have 60 miles in the BD version, you won't have 60 miles in the community. So whatever game you're going to grind out on, <clears throat> make sure you're just going to stick with that one. Um, I thought about making it kind of go together like that. Um, initially, it was supposed to, but it didn't turn out that way. Uh, if you guys do want that to happen, uh, we can look into it. Um, but if we were to do that, it might have to reset everyone's stats, which... <clears throat> we're not interested in doing right now so leaderboard cool um the ones here and then there's another one at the start menu um pretty cool um there's also a elf hunt event um we hid an elf around the map um you can go and try to find it i'm not going to tell you where it is um but in about like 15 days or so for those who haven't found it we'll release kind of like a riddle um which kind of leads to the location of the elf. Um, but it's a little thing. You'll It might be hard to miss. But if you see it, uh, you have to go up to it and press E and you'll collect the badge. Uh, mind you, you have to do that in the community edition. Uh, it won't work in the BD edition. So if you find the elf, switch to community, click on it. Or not click on it, press E and then it'll give you a badge. Um, let's go ahead and spawn a bus. Uh, well, before we do that, the snowplow makes its return um, right here. Gotta go ahead and spawn that in for you guys. Um, <clears throat> you can get in it, and you can. it does have lights if you press J. It's very cool, and it does actually plow the snow, just like that. And what happens is, after a few minutes, the snow will respawn, and you can just go around the map, uh, you know, plowing snow. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you have to own the VIP Game Pass to spawn this in. Um, so, right now, the VIP Game Pass gives you a lot. Um, it really does. It has a lot to offer, 500 Robux. That's pretty worth it in my book. Um, it's not going to despawn. Why isn't it despawning? Oh, I haven't published the thing yet. Uh, it does despawn, but this isn't a newer server, I don't think. Um... No, okay, we're just going to leave that there. Actually, we'll do this. <clears throat> There's also a snowball thing right here. You can kind of throw it. Uh, I don't know if that causes lag or not. I'm sure it does. I kind of got this off the toolbox. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, 
<clears throat> I had somebody make us one, but it didn't turn out very good. Uh, I don't know how long. I did edit it, obviously. It used to be a lot laggier, but I kind of made some changes to the script. Uh, but I might delete that. I don't know yet. But let's go ahead and spawn in a bus. We're going to spawn in a... Hold on. Let's do the... I think I have a T3. We'll spawn that in. As far as bus customization goes... <clears throat> did it not? Oh, I forgot to enable it. Oops. Okay. So all buses, or I shouldn't say all, I left out a few Game Pass buses, and uh, two of the CEs I left out because they're older and nobody really drives them, so I'm not going to waste my time on it, because um, this stuff was kind of difficult to do to every bus. So every bus comes with a Reef, Wraith, sorry, um, Reef, Wraith, I don't, I don't know, how do you pronounce these, Wraith, 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 I think it's Wraith, um, it's got some frost on the windows, icicles hanging down, um, icicles hanging down in the back, and we'll hop inside. A part of the customization, what you get is the stocking, the Santa, the um, candy canes here, but these weren't added to all of them, only to some, and then the presents here, which is inside the room. That's great. Um, but we will go ahead and check out the map. Okay. Now we're not going to do a route. Even though the NPCs are back, they do work. Okay. Taking off here. Turn the lights on. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and pull through the... Uh, now we did a lot more decorating this year. Um... We wanted to make sure that the decor was pretty good. We added some new decor. Some of it you'll remember from last year, but there is some new ones. Um, go ahead and head this way. We're going to run the light. But, uh, ooh, no. You'll notice that... Uh, a lot more neighborhoods have decorations now. Last year, um, they didn't have the best decorations. Um, the ice has made its return. You can see it. It's a little... Um, it's not the exact same texture as the road. That way you can actually see it. Um, you will slide on it. If you try to break on it, it won't work. You'll just continue to slide. Um, I made sure to try to keep it from like bridges and interstates. Uh, but there might be a few on the interstate that I don't know about. Um, here's the town hall area. I added a big Christmas tree that was not there last year. Uh, I think it looks great. Pretty good. Okay. Some of it's new. You can see rain, uh, Rudolph and his pack of reindeer. Um, we got the big inflatable snowmen, which are new as well. Um, the lights on the poles are new. Um, they are similar as to last year's, but they're a bit easier to see, kind of. Um, we made some changes to it. They're a bit brighter, I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, this year we went with a snow texture instead of the sand texture. Um, a lot of people wanted the snow instead of the sand, so... We did that. Uh, here's some of the decor. Decor. Uh, there is a igloo here. Um, I will go ahead and say that the elf is not hidden in there. I thought about it. I thought about it. You can go inside of it. I thought about hiding it in there, but nah. No. But look at all that decorations right there around the houses. Um, obviously, not every house is going to have decorations, but uh, it's an improvement from last year. So we will go ahead and head this way. As far as events goes, this year we're going to do our winter parade. I can't remember if we did one last year or not, but we are most certainly doing one this year. 
Um, no doubt about it. Even if I have to host it myself, we are going to do one. Uh, and I am going to record it. So hopefully that kind of pops. You know what I mean? Hopefully it blows up. Okay. And I'm going to showcase that uh, um, snow plow at the end of the video. As you can see, there are a lot of snow. And you can plow it. Um, obviously, you can't collide with it because... Well, for one, the script wouldn't allow it. Uh, for two, we don't want buses getting stuck on the snow. <clears throat> that would just be a mess. I mean, we could, though. I don't know. Um, as far as, like, destinations go and field trips, we didn't add any of those, I don't think. My god. I'm like, my nose has been running, like, all day. I've been quite sick. Um, we're gonna run this. We're gonna run it. You can see the ice there. Um, I thought about adding, like, kind of a light show right here, but I think that's just gonna make things lag like crazy. So I didn't do that. It was gonna be one of those ones you drive your bus through. Kind of like a, you know, you kind of drive through it and you'll see all the lights, but I don't know. Um, so bug fixes, um, uh, Game Pass buses should now be able to have customizable options. Uh, what else did I fix? I added the yellow rub rails to the Amtran, or the International 3800. And it was something else I fixed. Let me check real quick. Um, the NPC system, I already said that, the, uh, shorty bluebird vision minor fixes. I did work on that bus a little bit. Uh, apparently the signals in the back aren't working though, so I'm going to have to fix that as well. Okay, we're going to drive around this way. Highways are open again. Um. They were closed for a bit and kind of just opened them back up cause, because because we weren't doing anything with them. Okay. Yeah, so all the snow you see in the road can be plowed by the snow plows. When we get back to the lot here, I'm going to show you. Um, actually, we won't drive all the way back to the lot. We'll kind of just spawn over there. We're going to make a left here. I'm going to show you guys the tree farm. The ice skating rink is back. Uh, same as last year. Nothing really changed over there. But this area is kind of new. Uh, these big red and green things I added. Uh, and then, obviously, there's lights. You might kind of get stuck. No? No, you're good. Okay. Um, and then by the high school, go there. Uh, I put up a little sign. If we can go to it. I wanted to add lights on these railings. I forgot to do that. Uh, so that's like pretty much it map wise, I think. Um, like I said, we didn't add anything too big. I wanted to add, like, a sledding mechanic. I wanted to add, like, a big old hill and, like, a sledding. Like, you could actually sled down it. But, didn't have the time. There's the sign I was talking about, Happy Holidays. It says it right there on both sides. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, okay. Let me show you something. So... With the um, VIP customization options, the CEs have a winter cover, grill cover, right here. You can see it. Um, this one's not actually placed on correctly. Why does it look like that? Hold on. Let me kind of open the door. 
Uh, I put it on there the best I could, honestly. I don't know how these things really kind of go on there. Uh, but they do come with that. Um, like I said, not all the CEs. The 2013 and the 2014 are excluded. The 2016 and 2015 have them, though, along with the 21. Um, now we'll go ahead and showcase this snowplow once more. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's not despawning. I thought I fixed that. Maybe I didn't publish yet. That's probably why. So, we can go over here, plow the snow. Oh, that one's not plowable. Go ahead and turn the lights on. Uh, now, it is capped at 35 miles an hour. Um, we did that because we don't want people driving these to go as fast as possible. That would not be good. Uh, but as you can see, it is plowing the snow. Pretty good. I think this like work alone is like worth the uh, game pass uh, the VIP game pass but it, it only stays in game for the duration of the winter update so after that is done which is going to be in around I think March is when I'm going to remove it um, this will no longer be in the game but yeah I think that's everything um Oh, look, I've driven 14 miles throughout the duration of this video. That's pretty cool. Uh, quite a bit, actually. I didn't know I was going to get that much. But as you can see, the leaderboard should out of, should have updated. I'm going to go and check, actually. Uh, it's supposed to update every 10 minutes, and it's supposed to autosave every 5 minutes. Go ahead and see. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show up or not, because that's actually been kind of glitching a little bit. Let me go check. Okay, I gotta go search for my name. Hold on. Let's see. How much miles did I drive? Uh, okay, no, I didn't update. Weird. Okay. Like I said, it's a work in progress. Um, it's not final. There might be some things that happen. Um, it's all work in progress, but speaking of the leaderboard, we're going to add a weekly leaderboard. So this is all time. We're going to add a weekly one right next to it. And the top three, the, the top three that place weekly top three, oh my God, the, the drivers that place top three weekly will be eligible for a promotion. Um, so if you're like a bus driver, you'll be promoted to um, senior bus driver and so on. Uh, that does not include staff ranks, but um yeah um but it when you leave and then you join back it will update uh, i don't it's supposed to update while you're in game but it's not working but yeah let me know what you guys think um do you guys like the update i think it's pretty good honestly um do let me know down below if you got any suggestions uh to the update uh list them down below uh, you know we have winter last winter is gonna last a few months so we can always add a few things, um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you do wish to play the game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys next time.